must protect the wild. For Doomhammer. Am I supposed to keep this combo? Seems powerful. Let's go ahead and equip the claws in case I need it next turn. Go for a totem here. This could actually very well be a wind shear storm caller game if I can pick it up. I'm not sure how long I want to hold on to this wicked witch doctor. Could just try to tempo it out here and then if it lives, unstable evolution next turn floods my board. He hasn't had ramp though, so he does likely have swipe. I think I'm just gonna play some of this other stuff. I'll go for a healing totem here to protect my Wrath of Air totem. Alright, let's go hero power, and then we'll play one of these things. I'm giving something 4-4 four, four here. Let's just hit up the healing totem. And we'll keep holding this Wicked Witch Doctor for a turn that I can really pop off with Unstable Evolution. It'll be my refill after he clears this board. If he ever does, more likely he'll just play Spreading Plague into it. But, looks like he kinda dealt with it. Could go for a 5 minion Evolve here. Sure. I want to get this damage in. I feel like this game's gonna go on for a while. But I have five weapon charges. Let's get the damage in. Okay, not great. I got two two drops with one health, so if he has the second swipe, that's gonna suck. Alright, not swipe. Well, let's see what this guy does, I guess. If I play out one of my Witch Doctors here, it's just gonna die to this thing. So I guess I'm just gonna pass the turn. Alright, I guess this can be a Witch Doctor turn. Not really sure what my goal for this turn is, but I get to make a bunch of totems. 4-5 is actually pretty good. Do I want to just evolve this thing instead? Sure. That's a bad 7 drop. It's a really bad 8 drop. Show me Ysera. That's basically Ysera. Good job. Unfortunately, I got two taunt totems, which means if he can't get through the sleepy dragon, he can actually still do other stuff on the board. About to have some big minions on his side of the board. Oh, draw a card and plus one attack. I 
Okay. He got through, I guess. Let's go ahead and top deck that second unstable evolution. Or, 7 mana 5-5. Five, five. Bell damage. Easy. Why am I ahead right now? Well, I guess this is the part where he plays Ultimate Infestation and I'm not ahead anymore. Actually, I'm still ahead if he plays Ultimate Infestation, but the turn after would be a disaster. A 1-1 Jade Golem with 10 mana. That's insane. Well, I guess I can just beat him up. And I have two healing totems, so there's no real reason to kill this, because my guys are just going to get healed up. I have a really big board, considering the cards in my deck. Just going for the 12 armor here, trying to tank up. They're all Deathseer would be pretty lit here. That's pretty lit too. Evolve some totems. So this is the part where one of these turns into a Sorcerer's Apprentice, right? That's actually a really good 2 drop. So even if I wasn't trying to meme out a Sorcerer's Apprentice, I think that would have been pretty good to leave up. Alright, Huxer's good. Manatide Totem's good. I guess I should probably evolve this Witch Doctor. It's only a 3-2, my board's full. Dude, Burgly Bully's dope. Burgly Bully is so good at my deck. Alright, let's work on this Yeti. Dude, this thing's good too. My board is sick. Okay, we'll evolve the 2-3. Cave Hydra sucks. 4 mana 2-6 sucks. Okay, well, that kind of just worked out pretty well. Two two Jade Golem. All right, so this guy beats up on that pretty well. I don't have lethal, do I? This could be five, ten, sixteen, seventeen. So not even very close to lethal. Let's do one of these. Let's trade off the Huckster. See what I can pick up. Is he dead? Twelve, nineteen, twenty-one, twenty-two. He's pretty dead. <laughs> What a way to be kept out of Legend Rank. I'm gonna keep Mana Tide Totem, because I can usually just play it down on turn 3. Sometimes it draws multiple cards. And keep the Unstable Evolution, because it has so much synergy with my deck. I'm gonna coin out the Mana Tide Totem here. If I wait to play it until next turn, then he can have like a Curious Glimmer Root to just kill it before I get two cards. There's the Glimmer Root. I don't have an answer to the Glimmer Root. I guess I can Totemic Might my Mana Tide Totem. 
might not be able to deal with it if I do that. I mean, sure, why not? Manatide Totem is pretty important. I also hit a Wrath of Air Totem that he doesn't seem to be able to kill on board. Kind of a bummer. But next turn I can go Kobold Hermit for another Wrath of Air Totem and Maelstrom Portal for 3 AoE. Hmm. He didn't play anything else. And with the Stormcaller draw, I'm not sure that I really want to waste a Kobold Hermit on a totem I already have a copy of. But if I don't kill the Curious Glimmer Root, it's just going to beat up all my totems anyway. So I guess in the long run, this probably gives me more totems. Turn 5 pass. That's very odd. Well, let's get the Primal Talismans down. This was his Dragonfire Potion turn, but if he goes for it, maybe I just get to play an Alakir. Or he just plays Gadget Sand Auctioneer. I can actually deal with Gadget Sand Auctioneer here pretty cleanly. I'm gonna start by trading this off. Because if I hero power first, there's a 1 in 4 chance that I get a unique totem for the Stormcaller, but if I trade this first, then there's a 50% chance that my hero power covers the other one. Or, you know, sometimes I just get another spell damage totem anyway. Now, the unfortunate thing is he can have Psychic Scream here, which would suck a lot. Wow, he didn't have it. I was gonna say, since his early game was so weak, it's actually pretty likely that he has a 7 cost card in his hand. Wow. So I can hero power for my last totem, but unfortunately I don't have room for the Alakir. So I guess I'm just gonna unstable evolution, one of the things that doesn't have a death rattle. I think I do just keep transforming this. Can't really take too much advantage. I'd get a 1 1 divine shield here if I wanted. Unstable evolution's probably just better though. This guy's good. He's good enough that I think I'll work on this guy instead. Even though it does put me back down to only two unique totems. Ooh, Mindbreaker in this matchup. I think he is pretty likely to play Shadow Reaper Anduin next turn. Alright, Bone Drake ends up being pretty good. I might be overvaluing these Primal Talisman's Death Rattles. I think I very likely am, and maybe I should have gotten, should have evolved one of those and kept the Shifting Shade around. But it's, it's a Death Rattle that makes totems, that's what my deck's all about, right? Play an Arcane Giant, and I think I want to play the Primal Fusion on something. I give it 3-3. Three, three. If I play it on this guy, he's vulnerable to Shadowward Death. I don't believe I've seen Shadowward Death, but I think I have seen a Shadowward Pain. So he's probably safer as a 2-5. Let's make a 4 power thing, I guess. No, probably something that survives Dragon Fire Potion makes more sense. And I don't think any of my other cards make too much sense. I don't really have much that I want to unstable evolution. My totems are all fine, I don't need more death rattles. He did have the Shadow or Death, so I'm happy I didn't buff the Mindbreaker. Obviously the 8-8 was also a good Shadow or Death target, but the Mindbreaker is really hurting him, I think. Let's evolve this thing. That's a weak 7 drop. That's a weak 8 drop. Alexstrasza. I think I keep Alexstrasza. And then I'm going to trade this off and evolve the totem that comes out of it. I did hit a spell damage totem, so I don't feel as bad about doing this. Oh my god. <laughs> Everything I got was so good, I don't know what to evolve. <laughs> oh man. Maybe giving up my totems like that was not good. I should have at least played Primal Talismans to finish off the turn there. I'm so weak to AoE now though. This is just bad. And I left my Mindbreaker open. Should not have gotten rid of the Taunt Totem. Pressure of the rope.
God, I just killed my Mindbreaker for no reason. That was the only thing really keeping me in the game. And I think I was valuing the Huckster and the Librarian Death Rattles too highly. I don't need card draw in this matchup. My deck sucks anyway. I just need to have the board. I think if I do end up losing this game, it's because I threw last turn. But anyway, on to this turn. So I can Flame Tongue Totem this thing, and it can kill Priest of the Feast. I can Hero Power. I can play this thing. I can Primal Talismans. And then there's probably a pretty good chance that Windshear Stormcaller will land the following turn. Unfortunately, I can't kill both of his dudes. But Alexstrasza is immune to Dragonfire Potion, so she probably sticks around regardless. Let's definitely go for this. And I think I do like the, uh... I like the Primal Talismans play. Place this here so the Taunt Totem gets the Flame Tongue buff. He still has Psychic Scream, unfortunately, but he still has like half of his deck that he hasn't drawn. Okay, that's not Psychic Scream, but it could be a pretty strong AoE. The AoE is not great here, though. Pyromancer does clean up. I actually might not be able to get an Alakir next turn, because this Taunt Totem should die. My hero power... And then I only have two unique totems on the board, so the hero power doesn't cover it. Oh, I actually just don't have space on my board for it. What if I just play Deathwing? Does that make sense? You can't have too many things left that could actually deal with the Deathwing. I could push 7 damage here, he'd go down to 20, Deathwing would only need to connect twice. I would get 3 totems out of these death rattles. But of course I'm discarding my Stormcaller. I think I'm just gonna do this. I got another healing totem. Also, I should have traded off my Stoneclaw totem before hero powering. Oh well, very minor thing. I'm sure this board is not surviving the turn. Dragonfire. Okay, three unique totems. So this is the Alakir turn. So I know I've seen... Pyromancer, I've seen the Kazakus Potion, I've seen Dragonfire Potion. I'm not sure if I've seen Spirit Lash. I guess I'm just gonna go for this here in case he has the Spirit Lash. Do I want to equip Spirit Claws? I think if he, like, Psychic Screams or anything like that this turn, I have to just play Deathwing. But in theory, over four turns, the Spirit Claws just kill him. I give up a charge by playing one here, that's not the case. I don't think there's ever a world where I just hit him four times with Spirit Claws and he dies. And if I'm forced to play Deathwing next turn, I'd obviously rather have a three charge weapon than a one charge weapon. We have a damage based AoE here. Circle. So the Totemic Might didn't do anything here. But again, I think I am just playing Deathwing. God, picked up Thrall. I think it just has to be the Deathwing. Do I hit with the weapon? Probably doesn't really matter too much. I've seen Priest of the Feast, I've seen Binding Heal. 
I'm not really sure. I don't think there's any way that I'm going to get three hits out of this weapon, though. Maybe getting in one damage there helps play around, like, a Lyra into a Spirit Lash or something. I don't think I can die here with a two-mana hero power. Oh my god. <laughs> wow, I actually beat Highlander Priest with this deck. And there was that one turn that I think I misplayed really, really hard. But he didn't draw Raza, so GG, I guess. Unsurprisingly, I was only able to win about a third of my games with this deck. Or maybe it is surprising that I was able to win that many games. And the reason for it is pretty straightforward. The deck is based around this synergy where you have a bunch of random totems on the board, and your totems don't stick on the board against aggro decks or decks with board clears, which is basically the whole meta. I did find that for some reason it wasn't that bad against Jade Druid. I guess they're just slower than they used to be. You do have some time to make totems, and all these big zero mana dudes can really beat up the Druid. But against every other deck, it was completely awful, and I'm sure you're still unfavored against Druid. But 5-mana Alakirs are dope, so maybe that 1 in 3 chance to actually win a game with this deck is worth it. The other big synergy in the deck is Arcane Giant and Unstable Evolution, and that synergy did perform pretty well, which shouldn't really surprise me, since there was already a deck going around that plays that. Unstable Evolution just gives you a lot of options, and it's cool that you can like start going all in on a totem, but then you hit like a really sick 3-drop or something, and then you're just like, okay, I'll shift over to this other totem. And then, like, multiple times I got an Undercity Huckster, and I was like, wow, Undercity Huckster is actually a pretty good card. Maybe I'll move on to the third totem. Unfortunately, I never lived the dream of hitting Radiant Elemental or Sorcerer's Apprentice, but the Unstable Evolution still put in some work. The only change I made to the deck was cutting a Lightning Storm and the Gadgetsan Auctioneer for two copies of Totemic Might. I felt like I didn't really have enough spells to support the Auctioneer. It was really only good with exactly Unstable Evolution. And even then you only get to evolve four times, which is kind of a bummer. And I figured that Totemic might might help my totem stick around, might make for some more Alakirs. I don't know, I didn't really play enough games with the changes to see if it was better, but I feel like Totemic might does have some merit. Oh, and there was another change. I cut the one copy of Evolve for another copy of Primal Talismans. Just go more all in on the totems, the Primal Talismans gives more synergy for the Totemic might. And the Evolve was kind of like a backup plan, something I could do with my totems if I didn't hit the Stormcaller, but I found very often that I just felt bad evolving because I wanted to summon Alakir. I don't know if cutting Evolve makes the deck better, but it makes it more alakir -y, and I like Alakir. I'm even considering cutting through all Death Seer, but it's definitely the kind of card that can just win a game on its own, so I think for now I want to keep it.